Negatose, a sweet food without sugar. Let's see what it is about. Look at all these little sugars, all cute and delicious. You just want to eat them all up and that's the problem because too much sugar can be detrimental to health whilst being caused by the rotting teeth, building fat, damaging blood vessels and stressing out the system that regulates blood sugar as well as creating metabolic problems such as diabetes and obesity. We are hardwired to love sweets. Here we can see that the patient is very sad after meeting with the doctor as his blood glucose level has increased. This is because he has been taking a lot of food that contains the normal sugar. Over here we can see the two kids are cheerfully, happily and healthily playing around and then they return back home to have their lunch. The mother of the two kids had prepared variety of foods that are healthy. The whole family is happy and they practice a healthy lifestyle by consuming tagatos in their daily life. Here we can see that tagatos seemingly gives off better qualities. What makes it very special? Hmm. Let's look more into this and buckle up your ears. Is it possible? that something you have been eating every day could suddenly add more benefits to your health than you ever imagined? It's hard to believe, especially because we are talking about a sweetener. The sweetener tagatose may be the next thing to keep your eye on. It's making headlines and here's why. Tagatose is a low carbohydrate functional sweetener, very similar to fructose in structure. The exact chemical name is D-tagatose. Tagatose has a clean, neutral, sweet taste and is 75-92% to 92 as sweet as sucrose. However, it is metabolized differently and is especially suitable as a flavor enhancer or as a low carbohydrate sweetener. Because of its great taste, low carbohydrate impact and high functionality, Tagatose can improve the quality of a wide range of foods when used either for its healthy effects at high doses or as a flavor enhancer at low doses. Tagatose creates unique opportunities to develop the healthy foods market by improving taste and enabling strong claims and may take on a new and improved role. Let's explore the advantages of Tagatose. First and foremost, Tegatose has a very low blood glucose and insulin response. This is because Tegatose is incompletely absorbed by the body. It has almost no effect on blood glucose levels, so it does not contribute to net carbs and should be also distracted from the total carbs. Nextly, unlike sugar which provides 4 calories per gram, Tegatose provides 1.5 calories per gram. It is only partially metabolized or broken down by the body. Therefore, it doesn't have the same hyperglycemic or known as high blood sugar effect on blood sugar levels as other sweeteners. Clinical researchers have shown that Tegatose acts as a prebiotic demonstrated by the increase of good bacteria in the large intestine after consumption. Tegatose selectively promotes the production of butyrate and lactic acid bacteria, which are essential to maintaining a healthy digestive system. Not only that, Tegatose does not promote tooth decay. It does not promote dental caries. The conditions that normally lead to tooth decay after eating sugar and other fermentable carbohydrates do not occur after consuming Tegatose. Tagatose occurs in small amounts in cooked or sterilized cow's milk and naturally in apples, pineapples and oranges. Examples of products that use tagatose are such as low-calorie products or diet soft drinks, coffee, yogurts, chewing gum, 
candies, chocolate, baked goods, frozen dairy products, frostings and fillings. There are countries that allow the use of tagatos such as in South Korea, New Zealand, Australia and countries in Europe such as Belgium, France, Greece, Italy and Sweden. d tagatose is the chemical name for tagatose and its production involves bioprocessing and fermentation processes. d tagatose is made via a patented procedure from lactose in a two-step process as shown. Biotransformation of d tagatose has been produced using several biocatalyst sources. Among the biocatalyst, L-arabinus isomerase has been mostly applied for d tagatose production because of the industrial feasibility for the use of D-galactose as a substrate. To create tagatose, we first need to make whey which contains lactose. Whey is the byproduct from the creation of cheese by the process of curdled and straining the curdled milk. The lactose in the whey will then undergo hydrolyzation where the lactose is hydrolyzed to glucose and D-galactose. The glucose is then separated from D-galactose by the means of purification. As for the isomerization process, the temperature needs to be at 65 degrees Celsius. Lactobacillus fermentum cells are required for the isomerization process. But its optimum temperature is at 37 degrees Celsius. Therefore, it is protected via immobilization in alginate to function at 65 degrees Celsius. Then, for the isomerization process, D galactose will be combined with alginate immobilized lactobacillus fermentum cells by inserting it into the bioreactor. The optimum temperature is set at 65 degrees Celsius and optimum pH 6.5 which is at acidic range to produce higher yield of d tagatose 90% of enzyme activity occurs after 192 hours of being at optimum temperature which is 65 degree celsius the addition of borate to d galactose is done as it leads to the significant enhancement in the D-tagatose yield. The galactose is then extracted and placed in a packed bed bioreactor where galactose will be isomerized with calcium hydroxide and L-arabinus isomerase to produce D-tagatose. D-tagatose is then purified by demineralization and chromatography to produce the white crystalline substance of tagatose which is 99% pure. Over here, we can see that the boy who initially had high blood sugar level is now healthy and happy. This is because he and his family had started consuming tagatose based food products in their daily routine. Well, Tagatose's future looks bright. It is believed to be the only new product that lowers blood sugar and improves cholesterol levels and it also has anti-cavity and pro-digestive abilities. More clinical studies on Tagatose are currently underway and if all goes well, tagatose could be used in new diabetes medications and also become the sweetener of choice for people who want more health benefits. To infinity and beyond, tagatose is here to save you. So, let's replace sugar with tagatose. That's all from us. Thanks for watching.